Hi everybody, I'm DJ Foster, joined by Grand Valley State Head Coach Deanne Scanlon for this GLIAC Volleyball Season Preview. Coach, two seasons ago, your team made a run through the Midwest Region Tournament mm -hmm. and to the Final Four for the sixth time in program history. Last year you made another return appearance to the NCAA Tournament, but now nearly every major contributor from that Final Four team two years ago has graduated. Right. So you're left with one of the youngest teams in your program's history. Mm -hmm. 14 of the 18 players on this year's roster are freshmen or sophomores. And obviously there's some talent there, right. led by uh, 2015 GLIAC Freshman of the Year, Stacey Brower, who was a all GLIAC first team selection last year. So she kind of leads the way. But having such a youthful roster, not a ton of experience there. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts early on heading into the season uh, with such a youthful program? Yeah, I'm excited because um, when you do graduate, that kind of talent, um, I, I see it as an opportunity for those kids that hopefully have been working hard and playing behind some talented players, and now it's their turn, it's their opportunity, and it kind of brings a freshness, a newness to the program, a whole new stamp. You know, you have your your foundations of the program, your values, the direction that you're going in, but anytime you have that type of turnover, you know, the personalities change and the leadership changes, and those things are exciting. It's, you know, you don't want the same old, same old year in, year out, so I'm really looking forward to it. Like you said, we have a lot of talent, um, uh, and, and sometimes um, it, with inexperience and youth, they, they don't know any better. You know, mm -hmm. if you just tell them we expect them to win, uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure this group's going to buy into that. You said the leadership changes, uh, and I mentioned obviously Stacy Brower is one of the better players in the conference last year, mm -hmm. just as a true freshman. Right. Along with her, you have some other returners, Katie Olson and Taylor Stewart, et cetera, uh, and some other sophomore, you know, upcoming sophomores. Uh, who do you expect to kind of take over and, and fill some of those roles left behind by the, the graduating classes of the last two years? Yeah, I think Sydney Doby is going to make her mark. You know, she had some injuries last year, but um, she, uh, you know, has kind of recovered from them, and, and she's. She's just got a great calming presence on the court that I think, you know, her maturity going into the, the, her third year I think is going to be very helpful for this group. And she's very talented. She can play in the middle. She can play on the right side a little bit too. Uh, Brooke Smith was a six rotation player for us mm -hmm. last year that, you know, we're going to need someone like her and hopefully her to, to kind of stabilize our passing a little bit. And, and she's really taken some steps forward in her, uh, her leadership over the spring and, and um, kind of just coming out of her shell a little bit. She was one of those freshmen that, uh, you know, probably never said a word in practice, just came and worked hard every single day. But she's starting to, you know, to get a voice, and um, that it was good to see that growth in her this year too. But you, you are going to see a lot of new faces. Um, uh, you know, I think our incoming freshmen is, is a good, talented class. They were here for camps over the summer, and uh, I think they're ready to go. I think we'll see a couple of those younger freshmen in the lineup as well possibly. There'll be obviously, you know, a learning curve throughout the season mm -hmm. and especially at the beginning of the year with a couple of tournaments on the road. Right. Uh, is it too early on to kind of point out any strengths of this team? Uh, you mentioned kind of the inexperience sometimes can be a good thing. Right. Uh, but anything that you really can see that you would point to as a strength of this team? We're going to be big. Um, the, you know, I, I love a team that blocks. We're going to focus on that um, a lot early on, kind of getting other teams out of their offensive rhythm. Uh, it was a, a specialty of ours in 2005 when we won the national championship, and and you know we we have Stacy Brower, like you said, is six foot three in the middle. Uh, Sid Sid's a good size, six one. Jillian uh, Butsevich was a freshman last year, six foot four. She had a great spring. Was actually probably our best player in the spring. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, it's one thing in the spring, but you got to come in the fall and compete and, and, and play at that level. And uh, we have another incoming freshman that's about six foot four. So, um, you know, I think, you know, we have that size. So early on, it's going to be something that we're going to, um, you know, try to use to our advantage. Uh, and, but we lost a lot of ball control. Uh, last year to graduation, so the libero position is going to be uh, heavily contested uh, during preseason to see who's kind of anchoring that passing and defense. We mentioned it'll be an interesting season with all the youth. It'll also be an interesting season just from the whole makeup of the conference. This yeah. will be the last time we go through the GLIAC as currently constructed. Talk a little bit about that and maybe just touch on your schedule a little bit too. Obviously the GLIAC schedule is pretty much the same, but you have two uh, key opening tournaments uh, to start the season. Yeah, in my 22 years, there's been a lot of changes in the GLIAC, so you kind of learn to just kind of go with the flow, and whoever's on the schedule that week, you're going to play them. But it, but it will be different. You know, with Hillsdale leaving, uh, you know, they've, they've been, you know, one of the teams that's that's leaving that's been here through the whole whole entire Gle GLIAC since I've been here. So, mm -hmm. um, And that's been a good rivalry for us. So, um, you know, I, I imagine we'll probably continue to play some of those schools outside of our conference, but... Um, 
but yeah, it, it, it will look a, l a little bit different, um, you know, starting the 2017 season with, with the GLIAC. But, um, you know, we did a little different strategy with our team this year as far as our preseason tournaments. We're not traveling very far. Uh, part of the reason is we're going to Italy next summer as a, as a team. Um, and uh, so we figured that's that's our big trip for the <laughs> right, year. Right. So we're headed to Ferris the first weekend, but um, we're playing probably, I would say, the best preseason tournament we've ever probably ever played in. We're going to play Minnesota Duluth, uh, Cal State San Bernardino, mm -hmm. uh, Winona. Those are all teams that are top 10, top 25 in Winona. So, um, yeah, our young team's going to have their, their uh, feet put to the fire early on. And then we had the following weekend to um, – I told our team we're going to California, but it's California, PA, <laughs> right. Pennsylvania. Technically still true. Exactly, right. it is. So we'll get some regional matches in over there, which is important to win uh, to win some of those. Well, a lot of fun. Uh, we're looking forward to and seeing how this youthful team can grow, especially those first couple weekends. They'll uh, they'll, they'll become experienced quite quickly. Yep. And we're, lo we're looking forward to it. Thanks, DJ. Thanks so much, Coach. Okay. This is Head Coach Deanne Scanlon of DJ Foster for this GLIAC Volleyball Preview.